Hey everyone, we've got to talk about Andre Kuzmenko and the Vancouver Canucks trade rumors. He's been scratched. He's struggled to find his consistent role. He's got a couple years left, five and a half million. What's going to happen with Kuzmenko? I think we thought he was going to be with Vancouver long term. The Canucks have been successful this season, but Kuzmenko has not been the center of that conversation. So talking about a couple teams... Uh, I've talked about it, but uh, also just going based on uh, potential fits. I, I see a few teams that could actually call on Kuzmenko. Uh, I think you could go at a route where, again, depending on Kuzmenko, he has a 12-team no-trade list. If I would say all 12 teams are like non-contending teams, then that's just a write-off. But I think for Vancouver, in terms of what they're looking for, I think they could call some of those rebuilding teams out there like an Anaheim, like a Chicago. And if Kuzmenko didn't have those teams on his no trade list, then I think there's players on those teams that Vancouver could benefit from. But in terms of two teams that are in the playoff race right now, that could use maybe just a shakeup or a different role or a different fit, uh, or at least just on the outskirt. I, I think one team could be Washington. I think the Capitals, uh, they have a couple guys there that I think Vancouver would have interest in. I think if they're trying to improve the right shot, uh, right shot side, of their defense group. Uh, there's a couple guys on Washington, whether it's Jensen, Van Riemsdyk, uh, they could bring back in this deal. I know there's been conversations in the past of like Vancouver and Washington doing like a swap in terms of a dump or just a swap in terms of a change of scenery, whether it's Connor Garland. I know there was some rumors tying Connor Garland to the Capitals. Uh, maybe some kind of swap that involves Mantha and Tyler Myers. But again, Vancouver is very weak on that right side. So you'd have to bring someone back. But in this scenario, Kuzmenko, fellow Russian to Ovechkin, maybe you get Kuzmenko on a line with Ovi. Those guys get each other going. Who knows? Uh, who Vancouver would get back in that trade, I'm not too sure. But again, maybe a right shot defenseman and draft pick prospect, uh, vice versa. But um, there's also guys on Washington that I feel like Vancouver would, would see interest in in terms of the middle six guys. But one more that I think is very realistic, and I saw this from a Trade Rumors website uh, in terms of the Islanders, but I did want to talk about it. Um, New York Islanders could be a Kuzmenko target. I, I think there's a couple of trades I saw online like this, but again, you'd have to make the cap work. So Vancouver would probably have to take some kind of contract back. And that's where I go to maybe more like a trade like this. I know Islanders fans love Pajot, but you're going to get so much more probably offense from Kuzmenko. Uh, Put Colson could benefit from a change of senior. Yeah, he's in the minors developing as a 22 year old, but same with Wallstrom. I think there's change of sceneries left and right here. And Vancouver probably gets the extra draft capital because at the end of the day, Kuzmenko is the player with the highest ceiling in this deal. Most likely. I mean, we'll see what put Colson becomes and Wallstrom, again, could benefit from a change of scenery. So different deals like this. I, I think this one's a lot less realistic, but just again, in terms of players that have been involved in trade rumors, including Connor Garland. But um, in terms of the, the original deal I had with Pajot and Kuzmenko changing spots, I could see something like this where you spread out the offense uh, maybe Anders Lee gets the demotion to the third line and Kuzmenko gets some time with Horvat and Barzal. But an all-Russian third line, uh, that could provide a lot of offense and speed. Uh, I think the Islanders are just looking for secondary scoring at the end of the day. So uh, bringing in a guy like Kuzmenko uh, could be a really good get for the Isles. And uh, I think at that point, it'd be between like a Engvall, which unlikely just signed the new deal, or like Palmieri or Pajot that only have a couple years left. They'd probably be the at the expense here. Because I don't think the Islanders are ready to trade a Zizekas. I don't think they're ready to trade a Clutterbuck with this current group. But we'll see. The Isles are in a playoff spot right now. I think they want to keep their identity as well. So uh, give me your thoughts, guys, on this rumor. I think Kuzmenko, Islanders, Capitals, or maybe a rebuilding team, as I said, like an Anaheim or like a Chicago. I think there's lots of potential out there. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. And hopefully uh, I'll see you on more videos and streams to come. Peace.